the bike. You see this street here? James Turner Street was one of the best streets. Oh, Bill! No, one of the worst. James Turner Street in Birmingham is not your average street. It's not the poshest road, and we're not the poshest people. There are 99 houses. What's the point in being posh? How many posh people know their neighbours? Oh. 13 nationalities. Yeah! And many of its residents... Honey for the poor! ...are dependent on benefits. Probably 5% of people on this road that are working. But times are getting tougher. Your housing benefit is going to get caught. What kind of nonsense is that? They're having to learn to get by on less. I was supposed to live on £50 a week. And rely on each other more. We stick together, man. We stick together. That's how we have to do it around here. No, no, that's on me, that is. Some guy! It's mad. It's just like one great big family. Is there any point? Don't talk to me. Is there any point? Do not talk to me. Is there any point? Me. I don't think you could ever meet anything anymore dysfunctional. <laughs> Over the course of a year, I'm pregnant, get off my head. through good times <laughs> and bad, Move on. life on James Turner Street I've never lived without my kids ever. would be challenged like never before. It's not all about money. You can have all the money in the world and have nothing compared to what we've got around here. That's a f road. It's a big day on James Turner. Where is she? If I burn myself, what's that? Happy birthday! Matriarch of the street, White D, is turning 42. Me, James, I thought someone was being killed! And the whole neighbourhood knows about it. I've got friends who don't even know who their next door neighbours are, who might have been living somewhere for like. 10, 15, 20 years, and they don't even know who lives next door to them. Make a wish. <laughs> How can you live not knowing who lives next door to you? <laughs> Over the past year, government cuts have made life on benefits even tougher. It's hard to get a job. It's hard, Mummy, to stop being a bitch. Come push me. Come push me. Come by my kid. But on James Turner, there's a secret to surviving. Come on. It's making sure your neighbours are also your friends. Yeah. Push my butt. Push my butt. <laughs> you all right, Simba? Yeah, all right, bro. Simba? Simba? Newcomer to the street, Zimbabwe-born Titch, has only been on James Turner a couple of months but he's settling in well. I didn't do dumplings, I'm just doing soup. And he's already a big hit with single mum White D. I love Titch. This is nice as an Irish shirt. Yeah, just test it. Titch just fits in really well. He's just like one of us. Got some microwave mashed potatoes in the house. <laughs> Titch would do anything for anybody. He's a good <laughs> geezer. On my birthday, when he got me uh, four cans on my birthday. Mm -hmm. Good life. <laughs> like many of his mates on the street, Titch is unemployed. Yeah, that's hard work. But while he looks for a full-time job, he's determined to keep himself busy. Most of people in that street, I mean, they're lovely people, I'm telling you. They're lovely people, I love them. But there's some funny laziness which I can see in the street. Me, I don't have a choice, I can work any job. You can put me in the toilet, you can put me anywhere. I can sit in the office, I can sit on the computer. I can't do anything. So, is do you want to eat? That's the question. With money his sister lent him, Titch has bought a van to try and get a scrap business off the ground, but he's yet to earn a penny. I see people, other people doing it. And then why can't I try? Why can't I try? It doesn't affect your pride. What pride? Do I have a pride? If we die the same way, we buried the same way. You born without clothes, you die without clothes, you buried without clothes. 
Tetch came to England 14 years ago, but when his relationship broke down, he lost his home. Now he's been placed in social housing, sharing with strangers. He's back to square one. I sleep with my girlfriend. I'm a so I better start new life there. At least I'm all right. BBC! Titch has made friends up and down James Turner. Omar, what you say, my brother? But his best mate is fellow Zimbabwean Michael, or Simba to his friends. You all right, kids? How are you doing? You guys all right? I'm not teach for donkey's years, but we are not like compadres as we are now. But, you know, we've got to do what we've got to do at the moment. Right, right. Like Titch, Simba's also jobless. But recently, he's been keeping busy helping his mate get his scrap business up and running. <laughs> I'm just taking along with the moment. He's taking along. Come, let's have a singing aside. A trained paramedic, Simba came to England 14 years ago. Now he's renting in Winston Green. His aim is to build a career as a chef. That's all I think about, food, 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 food. I'm telling you now, I'm strict in the kitchen. I don't mess about. Because when I walk in the kitchen, I'm head. I don't mess about. My intention is obviously to run my own, you know, my own shit. You know, I've, I've, I'm going to have my own eatery. Uh, you guys are going to come and pay 10, 10 quid for an egg. Jesus Christ, I can't wait for that. I know, where's my tobacco? Oh. Was Simba lives with his girlfriend Hannah and her two boys from a previous relationship. I'll catch you soon, yeah? Serious? Yeah. Fana? Hi, boy. Yeah. Oh, so I'm free tonight? Yeah. <laughs> I hate this fear that comes out this thing. Can you see, Bob? They've been together six years. Was it love at first sight? What? She found head over heels, man. How simple is. Oh, you see how he likes to beat his own chest? No, no, I know, beat my own chest, me saying like it is. Yeah, I'm honest. Know. Bombed in there by accident, Jesus Christ. So I was condemned for life. I've seen him around. But Whatever, you watch me. I wasn't watching you. Yes, you watch me. You watch me, you think, what no, the that shortest sweetness? one in the light, you know, yeah, hard I, to move. His friend was dating my neighbor. Whatever, you hand me down, you hand me down, man. <laughs> you hand me down, you hand me down like a lion. I didn't want you, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I swear to God. Come on, Right now, Simba's broke. He's just missed the deadline to renew his visa, so he can't get work or claim benefits. Just a nightmare. You, you just can't relax. You can't relax. Basically, my uh, immigration status, so I've got it hang on good. up until it's been she renewed. Yeah, so we know I can't work, I can't do anything. They won't get all these two legs and there's myself. How the hell, the crocodile hat, are we going to make the balance? <laughs> While for some, friendships keep them sane, one James Turner resident who doesn't mind his own company is council IT worker Ewan. Never been married or haven't got any children. It's, it's wonderful. It's nice and quiet. <laughs> Homeowner Ewan has lived on James Turner for 14 years and is one of the few residents with a steady job. He leaves the house every morning to go to work, comes home. He doesn't even go, he has his shopping delivered and doesn't bother anybody. He's been broken into and it's horrible, horrible. I think the pull little gate there has got damaged because people have been climbing over it. They need replacing it again. Uh, can do without it. It's, uh, it's not a bad street to live in. It's, uh, it's convenient for the city centre and it's got good transport links to all over the place, really, so it's very easy to get away from. I can't have the cat and the duck next to each other just in case. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> the cat might eat the duck. <laughs> you feel lonely? No, not really. No, because I'm, I'm in an office full of people all day long. So it's, uh, it's nice to get back and have a bit of peace and quiet. Ready? Steady? Go! 
While most people on James Turner appreciate Titch's generosity, there's one person that doesn't, his housemate. And until Titch can afford to leave social housing, he has no control over who he lives with. I've been putting electricity for you for how many months? You're a fool. I've been giving you for fool. You can you hear? You I am a fool. You lock his and you break mine. I give him everything, feed him. He doesn't put electricity, he doesn't put gas, he doesn't put anything. Will you step on my shoe once more, yeah? When trouble brews, White D is never far away. I can't, I can't live in the house. I can't live in the house. I'm living like an animal. Because he's threatening me. He wants to fight with me, you see. So me, I'm just a bit scared to sleep there because if, I'm, if I charge up, we're going to fight. You broke into your room? Breaking in is my house. I don't need to break into your room. You haven't got nothing, blood. you got nothing. Nothing. You're a tramp, man. Look at your little trampy clothes that you wear, man. Look, this is this is designer. Hugo Boss, Nike. Titch is a real nice person. I really like him. It's just a real shame that ponies in the house. I'm Britain, innit? This is my country, innit? I go around Britain. This is my country too. What I do, innit? This is my country. What are you doing? What have you got to say? This is where you are. You supposed to be back in Zimbabwe, innit? Back in the bush. Back in the bush. Doing your team. That's Russia. What are you doing here? That's Russia. There's a plank of wood over there, and Tony's not far. Someone's gonna have to move here. You come from the bush. You're a bush guy, bro. I'm telling you. I'm coming from rich people. Fuck you. Go back to your little bush country where you come from, you. I'm hiding the plank of wood so I don't smack Tony in the face with the nails. I've got to call police, right? Get off the wall. Wrong person's in the car. What do you mean? Tony should be in the car. It's the disrespect on it. Just because you're living in shared accommodation does not mean that the next person can break into your room. Straight away, they, you know, they lack respect. And if you lack respect that way, you cannot cohabit. What you got to understand, Titch, you know, he's a much older guy than him. In a way, he wants to help him. You know, try and show him the way. You know, just point him in the right direction. The rest is, it's, you know, the rest is up to him. Teach. He's frustrated. That's why. That's why it's you know he's, he's, he's resorted to this. Why is he in the back of the police car, Tone? I thought they were at my fucking house, man. I thought I've only gone half hour. What the fuck could have gone wrong? There's a room in my house if you want it. Fuck, are you having a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> you just jog on. I, I can't. I'm not sleeping comfortable. No, when it when you're not sleeping there at you all, are you? So when, when I sleep, he doesn't sleep. But this is what I'm saying. So it's I'm scared that maybe he's going to stab me or he's going to break no, into no, my no. house because I don't know his state of mind. No, no, no. I don't think I'd ever, ever, ever hear myself say that about telling someone to press charges against someone, but press charges. Yeah, Go talk did. to him. Press charges, teach. That's the only did. way. James Turner Street, Ash Street. The Batman Street! To an outsider, James Turner might not always seem like the friendliest street in Britain. But when you're down on your luck, there's usually someone who'll give you a helping hand. 44-year-old Fungi's closest friend on James Turner is mum of two, White D. And right now, he needs her moral support. When did you first find the lump? Uh. Pretty good map now, but um, I found it about four or five months ago, and it was um, like a little dot. So why didn't you say so much straight away? Scared. That's what it was, really. Scared. That's why I've been to the doctors and all that now, eh? I've got um, a couple of lumps. Just found out what it could be cancer. Mixed emotions at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Very mixed emotions. And... I don't know if they cry. If I cry, I wouldn't stop. Do you know what I mean? I want to tell my, my daughter and all that, you know what I mean? But I don't want to tell them. Do you know what I mean? I want to tell my dad, but I don't want to tell him yet. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you know, it's hard. It's hard, man. 
They're on tablets so medicine. Tablet. 500 mil, what about that be? You know you have to show them what you're at. Do what? No, I'm only checking. I don't know how to open them now, sorry Fung. I was expecting to say straight away, oh yeah, it's cancer. But now you told me it's, it's one of three. No, but you never know, but if it is an infection or something like that, then this will just help it go down, won't it? There's no point, because you're panicking, yeah, and it might just be a cyst. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it could be. Cheap, No, no, you can't fall. It's not in it. It's rock hard. So it is, it's rock hard, it's right there. It's mad, it is big. Yeah. You said it means an infection. It's twice, you know, you know I've... Yeah. Grip you. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting nice, isn't it? Fucking grip you. Yeah, I'm going to get For James Turner newcomer Titch, life on the street has taken a turn for the better. Okay. His housemate from hell has disappeared. That boy is an idiot, man. Believe me. Yeah, I'm just happy that he's gone. That's what I'm happy with. And he's starting to make new contacts in the scrap world. I'll find my key. I'm trying to create something for myself to do. I'm always be a hard worker. I don't know how much I'm going to make. So I'm just just trying to put as much effort as I can so I see how much can I work so I can declare it and tell them to say okay, I'm working this much. So if they can give me a chance, I'll be very grateful because I guess to sit on job seekers is not healthy. I never sit on the door. This is my first time because of the situation, circumstances. For Titch's best mate Simba, life with his girlfriend Hannah isn't getting easier. He still can't get a job or claim benefits, and money is tighter than ever. I have to go through all this red type bullshit and just to get my status back up again and then actively look for employment because I've actually been offered a few jobs and I can't do nothing. Got phone calls yesterday, I can't do nothing. What can I do? I can't legitly get a job at the moment, up until all this shit comes through. That's a frustrating thing. You see me drink, oh, it's not because I enjoy the drink. I enjoy drink at the end of the day. I don't enjoy drinking during the day. Got a drink just to cloud it all over. You've been depressed. <laughs> Funny guy. If you ever come across a black man who suffers from depression, are you for real? <laughs> depression is a luxury, you know that, yeah? Hmm. Simba. I'll see you in a bit. Go on. But Titch is worried about him. Simba is a nice kid, right? He's very intelligent, that boy. When you sit down with him, talking to him when he's sober, you know, you're talking to somebody which you can say, you know, Simba, I'm thinking this, what can we do? And I feel my heart soars when I see him wasting himself. I'm trying my best. Every day I'm lecturing him. If he cannot listen to my advice, then tough. And Hannah's patience with Simba is wearing thin. All right, Senorita Mia. Yeah. Yeah. Who are you phoning? I ain't phoning nobody. Who are you phoning? Mia. Yeah, yeah. Phone. What for? Phone. Has Simba not having my phone? Tell you, man, man. He love to play with. He, I don't, I, oh, that's what I can't take with him. Oh, what? He's not ramping. He's not ramping. I, don't, ramping. I don't like him when he's playing with others. I don't like it. I really don't that's like it. it. What? So I can't have no brethren? That's, that's not That's not, not brethren. You don't do, you don't, because I'm not going to go up in CD, so somebody ramping with CD like that. You know that. CD? I don't, that's exactly, I don't know him. Do you know Maxine? Uh, uh, you to them, right? You on the likes of the hill. You don't know her like that. Hello, me, I know Maxine. Maxine, me don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> Relationships on James Turner have their complications. But for 50-year-old Ewan, it's all about the simple life. What's for tea tonight? Oh, I think it's going to be chicken. Friday's usually pizza day. I like meat feast. I like music and I've got disco and rock. 
Right, so that's Billy Idol and Hot in the City. It's hot. Also James Bond. Wouldn't mind being in the Secret Service, but <laughs> maybe not to the extent James Bond is. Maybe a sort of back backroom person designing the gadgets or um, getting all the necessary paperwork ready or that sort of thing. Mm. Yes. So I go out to work all day. When I come home, I just want to be able to chill out and relax and not get bothered by anyone else. But Ewan is finding that on James Turner, keeping yourself to yourself is easier said than done. It's only a bog standard six foot fence. Unfortunately, the kids coming past just like chucking, chucking bits over the fence. And, you know, they'd, they'd rather make a nuisance of themselves than actually uh, find something intelligent to do. It doesn't impress me at all. I don't know. It's 9am and Ewan is off to work. How long does it take to change? Last night, Hannah and her boys slept in Titch's spare room. Believe me. And Simba is making it clear he's not happy about it. He's thrown her belongings out onto the street. Last night, we're here, all of us are here. And we're chilling, we're laughing. We yeah, left. I've got five pound in my pocket. You wanted a drink. I says, no, you're not having a drink. You've had enough drink. He could barely walk down the road and he wants another drink. I says, no, you're not having another drink. He went in the house, put his keys in the door. So when I put my key in, I can't get in the house. You know what? I'm fucking pissed off. That day I can tell you. Pissed off. I told him he needs to stop drinking. Hannah's facing the difficult decision whether or not to go back to Simba. If you're breathing from Simba, then tell me. So, but now, don't let the kids suffer. You breathe at Simba, only. I know you're crying for your Simba, but your Simba it's will not, come to your house. Titch is not Simba. Would you just, you're not getting it. It's not Simba. Why am I not getting it? What you need to do today is just to go and look for somewhere to live yourself. Sort yourself. If I see you coming back to that one, I, I, I always know that you're crazy. Think of the kids. Those are your priority. Believe me. Take them to their father. If the father is closer, so you can access them. Tish is right. I can't put the kids through there again. He's absolutely right. Wait, wait, wait. When he's not when he's not drinking, he's absolutely lovely. I he's swear not to you. Lovely. He's not lovely. No, Titch. Don't put drink inside. But you see, when you're in a relationship, you try and make everything work. That I don't know what it is. Please. Okay. Give the responsibility to the father for maybe two, three months. You're not surrendering them. Tell the father, say, I'll come and see Titch, the kids. But it's hard for me. To I know it's hard, but. If you want to change, you, do you hear me? You are trying to turn your life better. If you love something, let it go. OK. Call their dad. Buying the time to find a new place for her and the boys to live means making a painful call to their biological father. I'll sign over child tax credit. I'll sign over the benefits to you. I just want you to have them for a bit for me, please. If you can't, please. I don't feel comfortable at that um, Michael's house anymore. I'll talk to you. Hold on, hold on. Hello? That is hard. That is hard. That is hard. I've never, I've never lived without my kids, ever. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. He seemed to understand, and he's a very good man, this one. He understands very well. And you'll be all right, madam. You'll be all right. <sighs> you'll be all right. Don't worry. We'll support you on that one. Mm. <sighs> 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 
There's a saying, when poverty comes in at the door, love flies out of the window. And James Turner Street can be a rocky road for relationships. Everybody got to trial and tribulation, stand up and fight. If an interest in a relationship on a one life, they love the other man on a fight. Hey. See you back around here tomorrow? Yeah. Yay. I mean, all dice will look after you. I'll do your lunch. Do your nice, healthy brown bread salad sandwich. Will you let me gel your hair? No. Please. Don't gel your hair, don't you? <laughs> you fancy me? You fucking do. Don't get taping that. You fancy me? <laughs> I hear where he whispers in me ear when we're on our own. Yeah, you get on the nerves. <laughs> oh, She's a cheeky little shit. Yeah. yeah. After her boyfriend Simba locked her out last night, Hannah's made the hard decision to move out of his house and leave him. I just have to move forward, even though he's gonna hurt. I just need to move forward. Over at Simba's, He's decided it's time to contact Hannah. This is the Vodafone voicemail service for... Surprise, surprise. I don't want to smoke, but I'm not addicted to nicotine. Alcohol, I don't give a flying fuck about alcohol, because you know what? I can spend seven days, 14 days, that touching a beer it doesn't hurt me i'm not like i've got to have a beer every day i'm not like that the only reason why i will have a drink as and when i can have it is because i can have it then you get where i'm coming from after taking medication the lump on fungi's chest isn't getting better, so he's been back to the doctor. It's not an infection, but he's not telling me why it is. So uh, that's not good to me. It's just a bit more worrying, now, you know what I mean? I'd rather know what he was, you know what I mean? When you seen it, he's like, what? I suppose they've gone down. Not, I said, I told you it wasn't. I just have to wait now until I get there, you know what I mean? It's going to do me anything, but that's the way it goes. Fungi's next appointment will be at the hospital. I took my mum, within six months she died with cancer. Do you know what I mean? And that's another thing that frightens me. I mean, they say you've got cancer and then you're going to say, right, you've only got... Do you know what I mean? And that... Oh. I oh, pray to God that everything will turn out good. Do you know what I mean? You know, I just got to believe in it and me. Hannah's been sheltering at her boyfriend's mate Titch's all day. Now Simba's decided it's time to pay them a visit. So, Carita, you decided to sleep at my bread in the yard? That's not right. Why didn't you phone me to say, yo, how come the woman's outside my door? When they come yesterday, do you think I can turn them back? They said, let's go and talk to Simba. I said, I don't want, I'm sleeping. What did you want me to do? I'm not drinking anything, I'm not drunk. What I'm doing, I'm acting what is there. I help them because of you. If I see them in the street, those kids walking in the street, I will help them because of you. Ah, you are. No! What the hell are you doing? I'm going to do my thing. I've left your house. Just leave it at that, yeah. I don't want it. Simple. Anna, take all your bags. Take all your bags and go. <laughs> He's not my friend. I was trying to help him. He's not my friend. Simba's paper is optional. Simba can't receive no benefits. Oh. He can't receive no housing benefit. Nothing. So you see, you never fucking bite the, hands, the hand that feeds you. He had money times and times and times to send off his shit so they can sort it out. And he never did.
No one on James Turner relies on their neighbours more than fungi. An alcoholic and a recovering heroin addict, he seems indestructible. He's dead. He's lost an arm and a leg. But his latest health scare has got the neighbours worried. Anna's done me some soup and some bread, fair prize, man. So this is going to be me something for later. It's like everybody's giving me my last meals. <laughs> I want to come back to Anna. Don't think negative on anything, just think positive. Got no choice, have I? I feel nervous for you. Yeah. I know what shit you're going through. I've been there with it, my mum and that, innit? Yeah. I'm sorry, I've been there with my mum, so I know. But you know you'll have all the support and everything no, on this road, you know? Every, every everybody supports me. Everybody's worried over you already. Yeah, every, everybody's supporting me now, and that's what yeah. I like. Well, that, it's not that like I like it, but I mean, it's nice to know that there's people there's there. There's people you know, caring, yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to get it. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Anna, thank you very much, sweetheart. Don't worry, darling. You're welcome. All right, then. Uh, as soon as I get back tomorrow, I'll let you know right back. Oh, Make no, sure. No. Like that. Take it easy. Yeah, I'm worried for him, and he's on his own, really. That's why I'm liking it, why like, everyone's giving his support on the road. Because it wouldn't be James Turner without Fungi in it. <laughs> but I do hope he's good. Yeah, I do hope. After a visit to the housing office, Hannah's had good news about finding a new place to live. I went in and they said um, I should wait for temporary accommodation after five today, but if I can find some place for the boys to stay tonight and me to stay tomorrow, then it's OK. So I'm going to go back, get the boys from school, wait for their dad to pick them up, and then I'm going to go sleep at my sister's. Are you doing it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you realise that? I know. <laughs> Titch, Titch put some hard truth in me this morning and I just need to understand and just focus and just do my thing. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Hannah will only have to be without her kids for the night. Back on James Turner, Ewan's problems aren't going away. His garden is becoming a dumping ground. But he's not alone. Oh, well, that's very patriotic. Britain in Bloom organiser Sue is waging war on the street's rubbish problem. She's heard about Ewan's plight and hopes he'll join in on her next big litter pick. Hello. Can we come in and talk to you? Oh, I like your kitchen floor. Oh, thanks. Now, you show me your back garden, please. Oh, gosh. All this. Plastic chair. Cheers. I mean, you couldn't say the wind had blown it no. over or anything, could you? No. I'm very sorry this happens. I mean, it's so depressing, isn't it? It's 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 just disgusting. I don't it makes makes me unhappy. You know, people can well, that's what it is. Throw, throw things over the fence. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, you know, there's others that are feeling yes. like you. Now we've got to fix the time and the date. Yes. And um, any objection to a Sunday? No. Nope. Sunday afternoon, do you think? Yes. Let's just hope it's not raining. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. Thanks for having me here. That's all right. See you again. It's the morning of Fungi's hospital visit. White D is going with him to find out if the lump on his chest is cancer. Very few little guy. I could do a drink now, but I'm not going to have one. Okay, get a quick shower. Did you go out last night? Ah, nearly. Couple of What do you mean? You had a couple of cans. You're not supposed to drink before you go in for into this. Don't fucking take them off till I fucking gone fun. Now, let me find your flannel. Five minutes. Five minutes. Fucking stay in there. Ten. Hours. We had a couple of drinks last night, and I do believe all he had was a couple of drinks. I don't think he had a smoke. Do you want to put them in the washing machine? Be an idea, wouldn't it? How'd you feel? A lot better, actually. Come on. 
No, bad nerves now. You'll be fine, man. You're a little nervous. Just like that. Oh, no, oh, no. When you're broke, life in Winston Green can be tough enough. But without friends to support you, it's even more of a struggle. Unable to work or claim benefits until his visa is renewed, Simba needs cash first. What's the, the best you can do for me? Because it's a buyback. I just want to put some lecky on and stuff, you know what I mean? I wouldn't put them in. No worries, man. Thanks. Wasted trip. Wasted trip. Oh, crikey. How much money have you got at the moment? <laughs> yeah. Don't be funny. No, seriously, tell me. Jacko. You've got no money. Jacko, Sodo. You've got no money? Absolutely, Jack. Absolutely, Jack. On me right now, nothing. At home, I think when I was cleaning up, I came across 24p. <laughs> Mad, don't it? Nineteen, nineteen. Shit happens, me brother. That's the way it is. Me stressing about me and Hannah at this particular moment is a different vibe, isn't it? To what I'm dealing with right now. Nineteen pence of lekki is what I'm dealing with right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Getting my paperwork through is what I'm dealing with right now. Santropi Tan. How much is that then? At the hospital, Fungi's waiting anxiously for his cancer test, but at least he's got his mate White D to distract him. So that's the one I've got. As well. <laughs> oh, there's no hope. I mean, I ain't going bra shopping with your Fung. I hope I don't need one. Of course, you're going to need one. I'll have to tell everyone. No. You're getting moobs. But you ain't gonna end up like me, cos you, you ain't that lucky. Okay. Do you think I'd ever have to give her it, though? Hello. All right, mate. Hello. Bit nervous. And is this sore for you? Yeah, just a bit tender. So at least it's nice and clean, cos he's been showering and everything. Yeah. Good morning. All right, babs. Uh, right, I will you. say, that you should be an excuse, so you, it might be a bit hard to get a vein now and again, but you should be able to get one. Got one. Just to look at scratch, okay? What shower gel did you use? Not more good dove, I hope. No, I just used to say. That's a little fresh. Still broken without his benefits, Simba's electricity meter is running on empty, and he's not seen his mate Titch since they fell out over Hannah. I just want him to be, to realize what he did wrong. That's why I'm just leaving him like that. When he comes and realize what he did wrong and tell me, then we can be together. If he doesn't realize, <laughs> what can I do? I really don't feel Jacko. I've got to be very honest. Really don't feel fuck all. What do you think it was that made her leave? That made her leave? Yeah. A beast. A beast? Yeah. Which beast? <laughs> this, this year beast. <laughs> Done. Why, why do you drink? What is it? Oh, crikey. Oh, you know what? How do you paint this picture before?
Since leaving Simba, Hannah's been staying in a refuge while she looks for a permanent place to live. Today, she's dropping in on her sister-in-law. I've done all my crying, I've done all my... Then I'm just gonna move on and do what, I'm... Do what I have to do. You still want to wish him well. You still got years that you invested. Even though no one else understands your relationship, only you understand it. So therefore, you shouldn't be horrible because you don't want to be somebody being horrible to you. Tish is like, Tish said to me in the room, it's a hard decision, but guess what? I think it will make Michael become a man and stop acting like a little boy. Well, he said he need, he need somebody to be tough on him. Hannah and her family remain in contact with Simba, and they've stayed friends. Back on James Turner, it's chucking it down. But community campaigner Sue's litter pick is still going ahead. And Ewan hasn't let her down. We're going to have a co competition to see who's got the heaviest black bag. <laughs> I've not got much in mine. I'd better get moving. Would you like to push and I'll hold the bag? That's it. It's not easy. I'm not doing very well by poking it in here. I think you've got a better action than me. Oh! She's having lots of fun. Ooh, the scavengers are still around. Sue's very enthusiastic and uh, got a great personality. We haven't got time for the nubbins. There's too many, aren't there? <laughs> oh, Sue. <laughs> She's mad. Come on, Sue, that's enough. There we are. Beautiful. All those nubbins picked up. <laughs> you call them nubbins? No, don't. no. Oh. Tag butts or. Oh, yes. Oh, right. <laughs> nubbins. Which is probably what the people sitting in the houses think about us, but. Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> For fungi and white D, it's been an agonizing wait to find out if his tests show he has cancer. And now, his results are ready. Come on in. Hello, James. Come on, come back. Have your test done. It all looks OK. Yeah. This is uh, just an increase in size because of the nature of the medication yeah. and the alcohol and the other drugs, OK? There's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. It should settle on its own, OK, when the response is gone. Um, there's no treatment as such required for this. Other than that, everything's good? Yes, everything is good. Oh, you made my day, okay. Doc. You made my day, mate. Have you got mean? any questions? No, no, no. Every question's been answered, I'm happy. Right, okay. nice one, Doctor. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers, Lisa. Bye-bye. This now, to me, he's been given like another chance now. He knows what he's going to do. He's going to have to be realistic about things, and he can't be drinking 10, 13 cans of whatever it is, extra super, alcohol a day. <laughs> I'm going to make your life out. Yeah, I don't know how you will now. If it weren't for you being there... You wouldn't have gone? Well, I wouldn't have gone, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I'm really glad you was there. And I am proud of you, Bob, you know what I mean? This is my fresh start. I mean, right, it's not going to be that easy. Do you mean that? Do you mean that? From the bottom of my heart? I fucking love you, Funk. And do I feel good at walking on this street today? Woohoo! Right. You'll never leave us, Funk. No, huh? I'll never leave this road. As shitty as it is, it's home, isn't it? This is our home. This is us. Benefit Street has caused a national debate. You've read the headlines. Drug at 15, welfare fraud, now I've got to learn three. Now, in their own words. Listen, I'm not a freaking scrounger. The residents of James Turner Street answer back on benefits. They made it too easy for people. It is easy just to, you know, to sit back 
and think, well, I'll carry on living like this because I, I can live like this. You don't know what it's like. Live enough benefits. You really don't. And tell us how life has changed. I think enough of it, man. JT. I mean, don't get me wrong, I miss, miss all the people at that. They're all my friends still. Do you know what I mean? I still miss them. But I know there's a lot going on on that road. On the most talked about street in Britain. We're not used to all this publicity. Next Monday for the final episode, Benefit Street, the last word is at the earlier time of 8.30 and that will be followed by a live debate from 9 o'clock. Benefit Street has highlighted many important issues that affect communities across the UK. We want to hear from other people living on similar streets who would be interested in taking part in future series. You can get in touch at channel4.com slash benefitstreet where you'll also find support for the issues raised.